right, don't know where that roof was going, but I like the little like turnaround section. Oh, it sounded like I knew what I was doing, but I totally didn't. Then steal a Sean Tubbs lake and, and you're home. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is a video, long time in the making. A little while back I did a video, uh, just kind of talking about is Gibson tuning that bad? And a lot of you guys commented and were like, yeah, you know, I had a Les Paul or SG, whatever it was, and had to sell it because it just wouldn't stay in tune. And I was kind of talking about, you know, my, you know, Les Pauls and Gibsons kind of just always stay in tune. I never really had this issue, uh, except one of them has not been staying in tune. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's because I didn't do this one thing. I've got a little trick that I'll show you that someone taught me a long time ago. I can't remember who showed it to me. Um, it was a tech or someone showed someone, a tech showed someone, some kind of like weird little connect the dot situation is going on. And um, they showed me this and whenever I started doing this, all my, you know, Les Paul stayed in tune. So I had a few non-believers in another video, I mentioned this little tip and they were like, I thought you were just joking. And then they did it and they're like, it stays in tune now. So real simple, easy to do. Uh, real quick before we get into the actual video though, because it should be a short video. If you have not yet, you know the Jazz Master giveaway. We got another week going on. I'm not sure if you might be seeing this on a Saturday. Super simple to enter to win that American Pro Jazz Master. It's linked down below, linked up in the cards, all that good stuff. And let's just go ahead and talk about this. And I'm going to do some playing, and then I'm going to play my guitar that does not have this little mod, I guess is what we'll call it. And um, yeah, I'm going to fix it, and then hopefully it's going to stay in tune. Okay, so here we go. Okay. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, obviously, if you are a Gibson owner or have owned Epiphone, any of that stuff, with a three over three headstock that doesn't stay in tune. Now, PRS always stay in tune. They're, they're a whole different thing. Uh, they've kind of corrected this issue on their own. You don't need to do this mod to it. But um, a lot of times, the especially the unwound strings, so the G, B, and E, they, a lot of times they go out of tune. Most of the time, it's the G, you know, on, on a three over three headstock. Now, what you do is very simple. I'm going to give you guys some close-ups. Is Normally, when you wind a guitar string, you put it through the tuning peg, you're changing your strings, Everyone seems to wind the string down. So here's your tuning peg. Here's where your string goes in at. Everyone seems to wind down. All you have to do is wind up. And like I said, if you look at these close-ups of my guitar, you'll notice on, uh, on my gold top, for one, I have wound up on the G. And I mean, I'm horrible at changing strings. So you're probably like, why are there so many winds on here? Don't worry about that. That doesn't matter. Uh, at least it's never affected anything for me. Is that I have wound up. And what happens is this is changing the break angle a little bit. Ever since I did this on my, you know, three over three Gibsons, it always stays in tune. I've never owned like a Firebird or like, you know, a six in line like that. So I, I can't speak on if it works for those as well. But anytime I have a string that just kind of won't stay in tune, I restring it and I wind that string up. Now I've never had any issues on the wound string. So all of my wound strings are always strung up underneath. And all of the, I shouldn't say all of them, but a lot of the unwound strings, I string up instead of down. So all it needs is that little bit of a string, you know, break angle change. Guitars are funky. They change over the years and all that stuff. So, you know, no two are the same. So it might work, it might not work for your guitar. I don't know. For me, it, like the gold top, this thing is, it's just solid as a rock, you know? Uh, some people don't like to even record with, with Gibsons because they don't stay in tune. Sorry, my phone's there. If I get a text, it'll freak out everything on the recording. But for me, always stayed in tune. Always been great. Uh, the Gold Top is one of my favorite tracking guitars. I love recording with it. It just, I think it's just the P90s in general. They sit so nice in a mix. And like I said, you can do kind of like this uh, in-between thing that I'm doing. The bridge pickup is, is kind of like got this nasally growl to it. Probably the most dynamic pickups. And of course the neck on anything P90 is just straight up. Now let's talk about uh, some of my other other less pause. So I'll set this guy down here. Hope it doesn't fall. Um, same thing on this one. Now what's funny about my KM is it originally started, and if you hear crazy sounds, I say it in another video, our neighbor, who's always mowing, is now putting a roof on their garage. So now they're always roofing and always 
cutting boards and whatever you do when you put a new roof on your house. <laughs> uh, but if you look at this guitar, same situation. Uh, you know, you look at the G, boom, I wound the string up. Uh, lower, uh, the wound strings, boom, they're all wound down. Now on this one, I have all three strings wound up. And I think part of that is an issue that was my fault because I tried to go full Jimmy Page one time and I, I was doing like the behind the nut uh, thing that Jimmy does to get the you know whammy bar-ish effect. And from that point on, the guitar had like a, a string where it just would not stay in tune. Now, because I probably messed up the nut, you know, there's there's so many things that go into tuning on a guitar. This is just one of many. But um, so then I was like, oh, you know what? This is the first time I ever done it was on this guitar. I started stringing it up. I was like, you know, what did, what did he say uh, whenever I was restringing it? I think it, oh, you know what? I think it was Derek. I think it was my buddy Derek who told me this. I ended up, you know, stringing it up and, and winding the string up and it just stayed in tune. I was like, oh man. And this is, again, such a solid guitar. I'm not sure, well, that has a mahogany in it. This is maple, I, I don't know. But it, this is just my best sounding guitar. You know, there's a couple of them that kind of fit different, you know, niches and all that kind of stuff. But this, this Les Paul, man. Even if I do the big, you know, big old. In tune. And like I said, you find all my unwound strings are wrapped up. So let's talk about the guitar that I'm having the tuning issues with. It is this one. Now it is a amazing guitar. I love this, this uh, old, I think it's a 75 or 76, I forget. Custom, but listen. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of you fellow <laughs> Gibson owners are like, oh, I know, I know that sound. I forgot to wrap the G on the top. Uh, like I said, I'll give you a close-up of these headstocks. Uh, pay no mind to how many wraps are. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a tech string changing expert, but if you look at it, I wound it down. And then I realized the other day, I'm like, well, they're all wound down. That's probably why this guitar is not staying in tune. And like I said, you know, results may vary in your mileage, um, you know, city and highway mileage on this tuning thing will depend on you know your exact guitar but i've had very good luck across three different gibsons and then if i do it on this one hopefully this will be the fourth one but like i said this one does not stay in tune as good as the other one it sounds great it's much darker and kind of woolly sounding I forgot my my neck pickup switch went out, so I can't I can't use my neck or middle pickup. So oh, middle sound. I have to use just bridge. You know what, I think I'm gonna take this guitar in today to the shop and uh, get that officially fixed. It kind of goes in and out, so uh, I'm gonna have to go without this one for a little bit. But like I said, this one does not stay in tune as well as the others. And um, it's a similar thing, the G just keeps going out of tune and I'm like, you know what, I bet that's it. So uh, I'll have Ron uh, look at that and ask him to restring it and, and wind those strings up or I'll restring it later. And then um, the other one that I have is my uh, 335. Again, three over three headstock, of course. Uh, Gibbo all day and night. Uh, stays in tune great. You know, when I got it, it really didn't stay in tune. And I ended up wrapping the strings up, like what I said before on all the other ones. Solved it. So, I don't know if I'm just having really good luck with this, and the guitars are just kind of like, you know, the Gibson three over three gods are like, we will grant you this tuning. And it's just working for me. But I do find it really strange that three out of the four stay in tune great. And the one that I haven't done this to is not staying in tune the best. So 
So there you have it. I'm not sure how long this video was. I'll play some rhythm out of here. But um, probably could have been like a 10 second video. But you know what? I like to blab. And I like to play guitar. And I like to play A chords. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> Hopefully this helps someone. Like I said, if you have issues, that this doesn't cost you anything extra, just when you're changing strings, try this. See if it solves it. Um, I have told this to a lot of people and um, I can't think of anyone who I've told this to that it hasn't helped. Or at least, you know, maybe it didn't completely solve it but at least made it better in some kind of way. I'll bounce around here. If you guys have any tips as well, obviously you could do things like, um, they said, you know, the, the nut on the guitar, super important, all that stuff, whatever the, you can put graphite pencil in there, all those things. I've never done any of that. I've never done anything other than just winding that string up and then I just kind of call it a day. They stay in tune. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'll see you later.